Hukui Prefecture. Looking at it, it's easy to think it's just like many other places in Japan. There are shrines, mountains, pachinko parlors and convenience stores, and the occasional wild animal. But if you want to discover one of the things that really sets Hukui apart, you have to stop thinking with your eyes and start thinking with your ears. Like Osaka, Nagoya, many many places around Japan, right? Hukui has its own dialect, Hukui Ben, that can make coming to this area of the country and speaking and understanding Japanese a little bit, a little bit more difficult, right? Now, some of the differences between uh, Fukui dialect, Fukui Ben, and so-called standard Japanese, that is the Japanese that is spoken in Tokyo, um, some of the differences are, are very, very minor, right? For example, uh, Yapari, which means as I thought, right? Here, particularly young women will use Yapashi, right? So, probably if you hear Yapashi and you understand what Yapari means and you understand how it's used, probably Yapashi is not really going to set you off, right? It's not really going to keep you from understanding anything. Now, what I'm more interested are the big differences, right? Some of the phrases or weird, so to say, uh, ways of saying some things in Japanese that can make your comprehension while living here a little difficult, right? So that's what I want to focus on in this new series uh, about the Fukui dialect, inspired by Tomoko Tomoko Tomoko's Kansai uh, dialect series, right? So. In standard Japanese, when someone wants you to do something quickly, they can simply say, Haikushite. And I hear this all the time in my English classes when my students are a little bit bored waiting for their classmates to make their move in a game or to respond with some of the language we're practicing. And not so much for the younger students, but if you are somebody my age here uh, in Hukui, well, you might go about saying that a little bit differently. Convenience store de 350ml no kate. Charlie. Right, now just in case you missed that, that was Hayo Shine, right? It's basically the contracted and slang pronunciation forms of the words Hayai, fast, and the negative form of the verb to do, Shinai, right? Now, that explanation makes this sound like a completely innocuous uh, thing to say, right? Oh, just just do it quickly, right? Maybe it sounds like the exact same thing, but if you have spent any time studying Japanese or you already speak Japanese, if someone tells you Hayoshine, it sounds a little bit um, like Hayoshine. Right, so you can kind of see the problem that comes up there, right? Hayoku shine and hayo shine have completely distinctive meanings, right? One of them means sort of like, why don't you hurry up and die? While the other means you really need to hurry up and do that right now, right? Now, while the meanings are completely different, something I learned, not really the hard way, but when I first learned this phrase was that, yeah, the meanings are different, but the reaction to someone telling you hayoku shine and hayo shine, um, yeah, the reactions can be very much the same. Now the person who taught me this phrase was the was the mama-san, the uh, the the uh, part owner of, of my local izakaya. This this woman who was like, okay, well I'm gonna start teaching you how to speak more natural Japanese for the area, right? So she taught me this phrase, but her husband, who is the owner, the the, the other owner of the izakaya, very quickly put in that I really need to be careful about this because, for example, if I said to him hayoshine about anything, he would very quickly, uh, you know put my teeth into my stomach type thing. So anyway guys, have you been to Fukui Prefecture before and have you heard this phrase? What are some similarly different phrases from the parts of Japan that you live in? Or what are some differences in the way you speak your language uh, that are different from the way maybe the rest of your the rest of your country would say the same exact thing? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear from you guys as always. I'm really excited to, to have this series going and to teach you guys a little bit about my neck of Japan a little bit more, right? So thanks always for watching. Please like and share this video if you'd in fact like it. And I'll see you very soon indeed. Cheers.